our 25th anniversary. <laughs> But we decided to do a lot more than celebrating and just talking to people about our celebration and our wedding. We really need to talk about the reasons for why so many people that we love, so many of our friends, perhaps will not be able to be to marry for a long time in this state. We're about to make a huge decision about passing a constitutional amendment. We're going to amend our Constitution. It will be incredibly difficult for us to pass legislation again to undo this and then move legislation so that our best friends can get married. And so this is something that concerns me greatly. I have been door knocking these districts. People know that in District 63, our district, about 67% of the population who lives here are Democrats, leaning Democrats, strong Democrats. And let me tell you what has happened every time I go to the door. What people are telling me is that they didn't know. They, they don't know that we have to vote on a constitutional amendment, and they really don't know how to vote. So we, we're asking strong Democrats, and we say, are you happy with the president? They said, yes. Are you going to vote for Amy Klobuchar? Absolutely. Uh, do you have any questions for me or the representatives of this area? Jim Dabney and Jim McGinnis are here. And we've been door knocking together, and the answer is, oh, absolutely, we support you. What about the constitutional amendment? And they paused, and they said, oh, we support that too. We're going to vote yes. Oh. So we vote yes or no. We want you to vote no. Yeah. People are very confused with this because yeah. people don't know that they have to vote no. So this is what we're going to do tonight. I am asking you to please, please, Come to this table and volunteer to door knock with us. Yeah. We're going to door knock near your home. All you have to do is tell us. We want to organize the door knock with you. We want to go out with you. We are going out almost every night. We're door knocking with Keith Ellison, with oh. Jim Wiginius, and with Jim Dabney. We're door knocking with a number of people in other areas. And I have to mention, uh, we are door knocking in Edina as well. We have adopted Edina. Melissa Franzen, who's running for the Senate, is here. So if you would like to door knock with Melissa, please, please let us know. We're going to go there. So it is very important that uh, you give us your information. We need your email address. We need your name. And I promise you that you're going to have fun with us. We're always going to have good food. We're going to have good drinks for you. And it's very easy to door knock. When you go, people here are very polite. You know, it's, it's easy to, to, to really uh, do this for a couple of hours. The weather is getting great. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your incredible support. It has been an absolute honor for me to serve District 62, now District 63. And I would like to call the elected officials, Jack, Please invite people to come over here, and uh, we're, we have many elected officials who are here tonight. So, y'all come on out and talk. <laughs> please come, please come. Uh, I would like to ask the elected officials to please introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about what you're doing in, in your community and how we can support the efforts that uh, you're working on. Well, first, uh, I'm Scott Demmel, State Senator. <laughs> Can we just give a big, huge congratulations, a big cheer to Jack and to Patricia for 25 years of love and commitment. <laughs> this, uh, this is just such an amazing affirmation of what this is all about. Uh, we are having a fight, but we're also having a conversation in this state, a conversation that's born in love, and it's a generous conversation, and it calls on the best of what Minnesotans are all about. And we're going to have that conversation between now and November 6th, and we're going to tell people our personal stories, and we're going to talk about the things, and we're going to touch their hearts and talk about the things that matter to Minnesotans the most. At the basis of every family is love and commitment 
like the love that Jack and Patricia are sharing with us tonight, that freedom in our Constitution is for everyone in this state. No one should be denied the freedom that's guaranteed by those who approve our members of the Minnesota family. And in Minnesota, we treat everyone with dignity, we treat everyone with respect, respect, we treat everyone the way we would want to be treated. We have the power just on this street, with the number of conversations everyone here can have between now and November 6th, with the people that you work with, the people that you live among, your friends, your family, the people with whom you worship. And it doesn't have to be a, a conversation of confrontation. It doesn't have to be full of anxiety. It's a conversation of love. It's inviting people to touch what's in their own heart. And that's how we're going to win this. We're absolutely going to. So please do as Trisha asks. Go to the table, sign up. You know, Lori Sturdivant had a column in the paper today that said, we are winning at the State Fair. Megan Thomas. Megan Thomas, she just a wonderful, wonderful story. She was riding the bus on the way here, wearing her t-shirt. She had a roll of stickers. A woman said to her, oh, I like your t-shirt. She's wearing this t-shirt. Oh, no. And she said, oh, and they talked a little bit about what. She said, do you want a, want a sticker? And Megan gave her a sticker. And the, and the man behind her tapped her on the shoulder. Can I have a sticker? And before you knew it, Megan was walking up and down the aisle of the bus. <laughs> I'm feeling really, really great about how we're doing because we are doing better than any other state has. We are not going to be the 31st state. We're going to be the first state. Yeah. So, so I'm going to keep a hand clap. I just want to there's a couple of pitches. So to my elected official friends, if you're door knocking, please do those marriage IDs, those, do those voter ID, IDs, and get that data back to Minnesotans United and get that data back to our vote, our future. Because we're on the doors. We're talking to folks. We can do that persuasion, we do that ID, let's feed that data back to the campaign so they have something to work with in GOTV time. On September 7th through 10th, there's going to be a massive, massive effort to get out to all the doors and all the phones. Big push by Minnesotans United, so please sign up for the weekend of action, September 7th through 10th. And then on September 23rd, we're going to have 300 house parties in this state. We had 100 when we were just a few months out from the, from the amendment being passed. And then a year ago, we had 200 house parties in the state. We're going to have 300 house parties. We're going to activate hundreds and hundreds of people and raise a lot of money. So consider having a house party or consider going to one. And, and then uh, let's work as hard as we have ever worked in our entire lives because the future of our state depends on it. Thank you very much. I have the pleasure of serving um, in the Minnesota House representing Northeast and hopefully this fall also a portion of Southeast Minneapolis. And I've got to tell you this is just so huge and I want to again thank our host Lorraine for doing this. My husband and I celebrated our 25th anniversary this spring. And you know one of the things that makes us sad though is that our best man at our wedding wasn't there to, to share it with us. Unfortunately he's passed on. But he was a gay man. And he had some absolutely spectacular men in his life, and I would have been thrilled to go to a party in honor of their relationships because I know he deserved to have as big a party along with everyone he loved and had friends with as much as anyone else. And I can't wait to start buying wedding cards in bulk because I'm invited to so many. And that's going to take a little extra effort, not just to defeat the marriage amendment, but also to vote no on the photo ID at voting amendment. Because once we defeat this, then our next action is to get the legislature to authorize marriage between people of the same sex. And that's going to mean taking a progressive majority. And I'm afraid we're going to lose it in a state in which we elected our first CFL governor in 40 years by 8,000 votes. We elected Senator Franken by a little over 300. We're so closely divided, I'm afraid, with the voter suppression, if that happens, we aren't going to have the chance as quickly as I want it to vote for marriage for all. So thank you all for being here. And um, I can tell you, I've got a little contest going as I'm there knocking, and that's to find blocks that don't have at least one vote no sign and get it there. 
And then for the people who are shy about time, we're going to have get some window things that they can put in their, their storm windows so everyone coming and going knows what they're thinking. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Chris Eaton. I have the privilege of um, representing Brooklyn Center, Brooklyn Park, Senate District 40. And I've been active in my community. Um, last weekend, we had the uh, Hispanic Heritage Festival. And I had a booth there for um, Vote No. And I had a lot of people come up and get signs and um, ask information. And so it's, it's alive and well, even in, the, even in Brooklyn Park. So <laughs> I was told that um, I was silly for doing that, and it was not a problem at all. And uh, otherwise, I've been working around with the different candidates. We're doing member for member in the Senate, vote, uh, door knocking for all of our new candidates. And uh, we're getting a lot of support. It's been, people are fed up. They don't, they don't like the divisiveness. They don't like the vote the Republicans have taken. They don't like the fact that um, they're mean. They're just, they just say no. They don't care. And uh, I hear it a lot at the door. So I'm feeling a little more positive <laughs> the last few. But um, I do have to work hard. So thank you. Thank you. I'm John Marty, and I'm glad to celebrate with you. I think it's beautiful that Patricia and Jack are using their anniversary celebration to say that we as a state want to make sure that all couples get the same rights, both marriage rights, R-I-T-E-S and R-I-G-H-T-S. They all get the same rights. I think it's a beautiful way to celebrate an anniversary. We ought to be taking them up on that and moving forward with these conversations that Scott mentioned. Minnesotans United has phone banks all over the state. And I talked with one of my neighbors who's been going there faithfully every week. And there's some difficult conversations, but it's changing people. We do change minds when we talk to people and tell them why it matters. And we need you to do that. I'm carrying around in my brochure, insert one side is why to vote no on this one, and the other side is why to vote no on the other one because we have to win both of them. Constitutions are for giving people rights, not taking them away. Because of all the work being done here and around the state, we're going to win these things. We are going to win them. It's going to be hard. If we win them and we take back the legislature, then in January, all of those legislators here are going to make sure we pass marriage equality in January next year. We just got to vote no first, and now we'll win. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Patricia and Jack. I love talking after John Marty. I'm Wendy Higgins. I've been privileged to be the state senator representing North and downtown Minneapolis for 16 years. This year, I'm running for Hanford County Commissioner in the district that runs from St. Anthony to Plymouth. That will make your head twirl on any given day. On the very first piece of literature that I did for my county commissioner race, I put the Vote No logo. And it was really interesting because people started calling and telling me that they disagreed with me. And it was a chance to have a conversation. Like Scott said, you get a chance to talk about your values and hear what somebody else thought. And it occurs to me that those personal conversations are how we're going to win this. It isn't necessarily about big rallies, and it isn't about you know, all the kind of political things we can do. But it's having those honest conversations with people who start out disagreeing with you. And then you can talk about your values and your point of view and be respectful when other people talk about theirs. But at the end of the conversation, you know that the person has heard the best reasons that you can give to vote no. 
I'm kind of fascinated by the fact that people will call you up and say, I disagree with you on something you put on your literature. And and so it's it's been um, you know something I've had to try to, to figure out. And and yet the conversations go really well. And by the end of the conversation, you know that there's a person that you can talk to and at the end of the day you might end up having them also voting no, which is what we want. So all of you have those best conversations with people you might not have talked with before. Be respectful. Be passionate about what you're talking about. And we're going to win. Thank you. I'm Julia Genius, and I represent the area to the south in the Minnesota House. When Linda was talking, I was thinking, uh-oh, in my literature, there is an explanation of why you should vote no on each of the constitutional amendments. It's a good, long explanation. I also have my phone phone number. So, I guess I'm expecting a new kind of role that I hadn't expected until Linda talked. Nonetheless, I want to get this literature out. We have four new precincts that are joining in with us from Richfield, where the voter turnout is not as high. We have to make it high. So I would like it if you all would help us get that out. It is my goal to have Richfield done in the month of September. Richfield will be done with the explanation on both constitutional amendments and my telephone number. So come help me keep busy. All right. Thanks, Jack. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Betsy Hodges. I'm on the Minneapolis City Council, and I'm representing Southwest Minneapolis over by Lake Harriet. I'm thrilled to be here. And I will say one of the things I've been doing for uh, to defeat this amendment is I've been showing up at the Minnesota United office, and I've been sitting down with a list, and I've been calling strangers and asking them for money. Now, I bet that gave a lot of people heart attacks to hear or think about doing it, although I recommend it. It's actually a very satisfying thing to do to have somebody say, yes, I'll give you $500. But... The reason I tell that story is because it probably will make it seem a lot easier to go to the Minnesota United office and just call people to talk about the amendment. You don't have to ask them for money. They have whole lists of people just for us to talk to. So you can sign up here. You can go to mnunited.org and you can sign up for your volunteerships there as well as having conversations with your friends and your family and your neighbor and not assuming that you know where anybody stands unless they're actively wearing the shirt. Because that's what it's going to take, as everybody's been saying, are these conversations. Um, I couldn't be the person who calls up strangers and asks them for money without asking a whole bunch of people I know, hey, if you've got an extra 10, 15, 20, $10,000, <laughs> give it to Minnesota United. We are going to defeat this amendment. Yeah. Woo! Good evening. My name is Jim Wannis, and I have the privilege of serving on the Maplewood City Council uh, in the first ring suburb of St. Paul. And I have the, the, the uh, extreme privilege of having uh, been able to get to that position with people uh, like Senator Dibble, Senator Marty, uh, Senator Tory, that were very helpful in helping me get elected. I'm the first out Latino in the state of Minnesota. So, uh, I also have to legislate a new uh, ordinance that said we as the city of Maplewood, a very traditional uh, middle class elderly population, first room suburbs, uh, passed an amendment that's opposing the current amendment and we said, look, if we could do it in Maplewood, where the, the real big things are going to have to happen in the suburbs, we really think we could do this statewide. So we have taken a lead role in saying, enough, this is a place where we want to raise our families, all families. And it doesn't matter what you look like and how you love, what you do as a community member is more important. And we welcome you into this community. I just want to tell you one quick story. My partner Justin is over there, and he is the love of my life. And I would like someday to be able to marry him in front of my family, in front of my community, and say, this is what it's about. Our relationship and our children who go, 
that's my dad, and this is my other dad. That matters. And that's the story that we have to tell because we are real people, we have real faces, and we have real families. And that's what I hope that as you go out and talk to people, that's really the issue. So it's not only a political issue, it's a, it's a moral issue, it's a love issue. So thank you for being here today, for having this party. Thank you for having you all come back tonight, and I wish you all really good night. Thank you. I'm Phyllis Khan, I'm the legislator from the district just moving over that way, having taken a few blocks of Philadelphia this year for the first time. Uh, I just want to tell two very brief, brief stories about what's happened. First of all, I came to the State Fair today. And if you go to the State Fair, besides the, looking at the great crowds that the vote no and the empty people at the vote yes, go yeah. yeah. check out the crop art exhibit. Yeah. Would you believe crop art is all about vote no? Yeah. Uh, people who put little seeds on papers and they're all saying vote no. It's absolutely terrific. The other little piece of information I have, which is what I've been saying, is um, my friend, my, my friend was in Montreal, sorry, boring, heterosexual, married couple, but Quebec was the first province in this place who uh, um, yep. okayed marriage, who okayed marriage for everyone. And one of the things that they discovered was that, you know, there isn't this great push to get married in Canada because people get health care and all that good stuff. So they discovered this thing was this big uptick in the marriage of their heterosexual friends. So suddenly the bar of commitment had been raised. And that people thought they weren't committed now unless they were married. So there are all kinds of side parts to this. And thank you all for coming and thanks to Patricia for doing this. So. Hi, uh, we're your local officials. It's Alberto Montserrat, who is the chair of the Minneapolis School Board. My name is Carla Bates. I am on the school board, also running for re-election. And Carol Becker, Board of Taxes and Estimation. I want you to all think about where you work and where you worship and get your organizations to pass a resolution to vote no. We did it at the school board. People were thrilled that Oxford College did it. The city of Mankato did it. I mean, come on. That is great stuff that makes people happy. Get your businesses, your places of worship, people to do it and say no collectively. All right. I want you to lead us into a truth and tell us the reason we need to continue to our district. All right. Please tell us why it is that we need your support. I want you to get some champagne and be ready. Representative Jim Dabney is going to remind us the reason for why we need to support a district like this. Please get your champagne. Please make sure you get your champagne. We have champagne over here. Champagne for everyone. Champagne for everyone. Oh, okay. Uh, good evening. I'm Representative Jim Dabney. I have the pleasure of representing this area. One piece of good news. I'm the last speaker. I knew that would go well. But I've got three other messages for you. Number one, make no mistake. From the top of the ticket to the bottom and across to the constitutional amendment, this is the most important election of our lifetime. All right. The outcome of every race on the ballot this fall determines what sort of society we age in and what sort of state and country we leave our children. Number two, Governor Dayton was elected by 8,700 votes. Those votes weren't evenly distributed across the state of Minnesota. You elected Governor Dayton. It was the work 
in Minneapolis that put him across the line. You did it. We need you to do it again and again and again this fall. And my last message, since this is the most important election of our lifetime, I need you to step up and dig deep. We need you to get engaged on the door knocking, on the phone calling. We need you to sign up at that table right over there to get engaged in our campaigns and have the conversations with our neighbors that are not only about love and commitment and freedom, but are also about you've got to turn out on November 6th. You can't take it for granted. We need South Minneapolis to balance out a lot of other places across the state. We're working with the Senate District to put out a piece of literature at the end of the campaign that tells people where their new voting location is and tells them to vote right on the ballot and vote no on both amendments. But we can't do it without you digging deep and providing your effort and your money to help make this happen. Can you do that? Can you, jo can you join Meg Tuttle from the City Council and Jack and Patricia and Scott and Carla and all the other electeds you've seen up here tonight in saying no and making it happen on November 6th. Can you do that? Yeah. I knew you could. You. Jack and Patricia, to 25 years of loving commitment and to the freedom to marry to all of our friends and neighbors and loved ones across the state. And uh, thank you again to Patricia and Jack for hosting this great event and for all of their hard work and commitment for progressive values and really making a difference and a change in our community, our state, and our country. And thank you so much. Uh, thank you also to all the co-hosts here tonight. If you're a co-host, raise your hand. Thank you so much to all of the effort and the food and the work. And a special thank you to Dustin Dennison and Jessica Ward Dennison, who have worked all day on the hosting this food. Thank you so much for the seat. Um, there's a couple of big sheets over here. If you want to write a congratulatory message to Jack and Patricia for their 25th wedding anniversary, Woo! these can be found over at the table. Also over at the table are the sign-up sheets. So if you sign up, let us know if you would want to come out on a door knock someday, if you would want to help with a phone bank, or if you have another talent, if you can help with translation, or if you'd like to put in lawn signs, whatever it is that you'd like to do, we welcome you to help and we really appreciate it. And these sign-up sheets are also at the table over here. Finally, I'd like to ask everybody if they'd be willing to take a pledge. All right. Yes. Knowing that marriage is about love, commitment, responsibility to family, bettering our communities, and strengthening society, do you pledge to, one, vote no on the marriage amendment on November 6th? Yes. yes. Number two, talk to at least five friends and neighbors about why you will vote no on the marriage amendment and why they should too. Yes. Do you pledge to make a commitment to do what you can, such as attend a door knock or a phone bank to defeat this marriage amendment? Yes. If, if so, please say, I do. I do. Thank you so much, oh. and congratulations. We have some bubble blowers here. Um, they have lots of campaigns. And I also just want to say, as you know, um, the real commitment and hard work happens after the ceremony. And so we want to continue to take this forward. And hopefully everyone here can do everything they can between now and November 6th to defeat this amendment. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'll make this really short. My name is Christian Yupus. I'm the Latino Outreach Coordinator with Alpha Minnesota and Minnesotans United for All Families. 
para toda mi gente latina, hispana, que quiera ayudar a la campaña para de, derrotar la enmienda matrimonial y la enmienda que restrinja la oportunidad de votar, por favor, vengan a hablar conmigo para tratar de, 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 de derrotar esta enmienda que de verdad va a afectar a nuestra comunidad negativamente, porque yo creo que si nosotros votamos eh, cualquier de estas dos enmiendas, la legislatura si no, no está con nosotros, próxima vez va a venir contra nuestra comunidad, va a venir contra la comunidad eh, inmigrante. Nosotros tenemos que estar juntos para derrotar esta enmienda y por favor, vengan a hablar conmigo para eh, de, tratar de derrotar esta enmienda. Necesito que sintamos eh, cultivar las organizaciones latinas para derrotar esta enmienda. Quiero darle gracias a nuestro representante Alberto Montserrat de la uh, Minneapolis School Board and uh, for Latino Communications Network. He has been one of the biggest helps that we've had in the Latino community in defeating both amendments. We're going to start advertising uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, Spanish radio starting September 3rd on Monday to educate folks to vote no against the marriage amendment. We're going to have events with Take Action Minnesota uh, uh, starting September 6th on Thursday to do phone banks on both uh, the uh, 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 voter ID amendment and the, and the marriage amendment. So I urge anyone who is interested in helping out with Latino organizing within the Latino community, if you're wanting to get a chance to reach out to, the, uh, to, to our community, uh, we're 50,000 folks who will be voting in this election that will make or break this, this election. Please help us, come and talk to me, get a chance to volunteer, get a chance to sign up, get a chance to participate in this way so we can defeat this amendment. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have fun. Maria S. Yeah. S. Russell, we are so happy that you're here, please entertain us with your music. Your tortillas came from Italia Food, uh, owned by a wonderful Latina in Egan, who is now making the tortillas for McDonald's. So the tortillas were made today. Justin, Justin, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the food. It was absolutely excellent. Thanks to the co-host for the champagne. María Elena, Antonio, thank you for the champagne. Yeah. Salud. Gracias a todo el mundo. Salud. Ah,